What happens when approaching a narcissist because you forgave them for cheating on you? What happens when you believe the lies of the narcissist because they said they were faithful to you and they were just a friend? What happens when you expect the narcissist to love you? What happens when you expect the narcissist to have a sense of humor and experience the spirit of joy? What happens when you're trying to explain to the narcissist? What happens when you're trying to explain to a narcissist about what human decency means? Trying to explain to the narcissist what are the works of the flesh and that when you're in agreement with the works of the flesh, that you are not in God's kingdom. So Galatians 5, 19. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, revenge, selfish ambitions, <clears throat> dissensions, heresies, envy, murder, suicide, abortion, drunkenness, drug addiction, pharma and rivalries. <clears throat> what happens when you put a narcissist on your life insurance and you insure your life for $250,000 and the narcissist thinks that if you cast upon the spirit of suicide, that they will inherit $250,000. I do not recommend this, folks. This is not a good idea. I don't care what you said. It's not a good idea. What happens when you expect the narcissist to protect you? Uh, do you see what's behind me, folks? Do you see it? This the narcissist trying to protect me. Uh, he's trying to save a hoe. Oh, look at the narcissist. Oh, trying to save a hoe. I don't know. Doesn't look like I'm being saved. What happens when you expect the narcissist to provide for you? What happens when you expect the narcissist to allow you freedom and to experience free will to allow you to be independent? and to thrive in your gifts and your career. <laughs> this is what happened, folks. You see what's behind me? Do I have freedom? No, I'm a hostage. You see what's behind me? When you expect the narcissist to be faithful to you, this is what happens. When you expect the narcissist to respect you and value you as a human being with needs, and desires and wants. When you expect the narcissist is not gonna stab you in the back and throw you under the bus. When you expect the narcissist to tell the truth, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming because nobody in God's kingdom, because you're nobody in God's kingdom if a narcissist, which is a child of Satan, is not targeting you or chasing you or trying to steal, kill, and destroy your life and everything in it like this shark. So basically, you're nobody in God's kingdom unless you're being targeted by the kingdom of darkness. And this shark is a narcissist that's trying to steal, kill, and destroy so Jesus has said in Matthew 5, 1 through 20, And seeing the multitudes, he went up on the mountain, and when he was seated, his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. 
Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So if the Satanist, the narcissist, and the narcissistic network, the false prophets, the antichrist spirit, and the children of Satan are trying to consume you like this shark is, trying to steal, kill, and destroy, that means that you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. So rejoice and be happy because Satan ignores those that are his children. Because the reapers, which are the angels, are separating the weeds from the tares. The angels are separating God's children from Satan's children. God will destroy Satan's children with condemnation and torment. So rejoice, children of God, when the kingdom of Satan tries to steal, kill, and destroy you because you are a threat to the kingdom and this means that you belong to the kingdom of God and that means you inherit all of the fruits of the spirit you will inherit love joy peace patience mildness goodness gentleness self-control and faithfulness and you will have life and life abundantly you will have comfort and protection and you will have someone that is faithful to you so rejoice when the kingdom of darkness is trying to consume you like the shark because your reward is great great in the kingdom of heaven so just keep swimming children of god just keep swimming and please subscribe to miss my sanity